Question number five, Simon O'Connor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Oh, sorry. Um, my question is to the Minister of Housing and Urban Development and asks, does he have confidence in Housing New Zealand's tenancy management and the way it manages the state housing stock? The Honourable Phil Twyford. Yes. Is it acceptable to him that state housing tenants are currently renting out their state houses on Airbnb? Uh, I'm not aware that they are, and if the member has information about that, I'd be happy to look into it. How can he not be aware if his officials advised the Social Services Select Committee yesterday that this is definitively the case? I was aware that uh, MSD officials at the Select Committee talked about the effect of Airbnb in regional housing markets and the effect it's having on housing demand. But I have to say I wasn't aware there was any suggestion that Housing New Zealand tenants were leasing out their properties on Airbnb. Will he be taking any steps to stop this happening? And if so, how? I will certainly look into it. <laughs> Joe Luxton. What progress has Housing New Zealand made in increasing the state housing stock? Mr Speaker, we are making very good progress building more public housing. Housing New Zealand built 598 new properties in the June quarter and there are 1,643 new Housing New Zealand properties currently under construction. This government is committed to rebuilding state housing in New Zealand after nine years of neglect and selling off of state housing. Mr Speaker. How can it be that a state house tenant can rent out their surplus rooms on Airbnb, and yet his tenancy managers cannot find rooms for the people who need them? Well, if, if state house tenants are leasing out their homes on Airbnb, then uh, I'll be looking into that. <laughs> Is it acceptable, Minister? for existing state house tenants to rent out houses and homes when we have the largest waiting list in history under this government? Well, we have the largest waiting list in history because the former government allowed a housing crisis to spin out of control. We've seen the worst homelessness in living memory for the last three winters, and that government sold off state housing for nine years reducing the total stock of public housing by 1,500 right. in the middle of a housing crisis. Right. Question number six, the Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Thank you, Mr uh, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health. Does he 